Blood Forge is very much a story driven experience. It comes up something that's kind of visually striking. Each monster, each boss should be different. It all looks very good, but the sound really gives like the weight to the impact. The universe itself is inspired by a lot of county technologies. He's a pure brute. You know, his strength comes from his, his fury. Like all ex-soldiers, there's something about him that says he's been in the war. He's got scars over him, he still has like battle armour, been carrying swords and killing people. He just looks grizzled. He's very blunt, a simple man. He's battle-hardened, seen many battles, very scarred, you know, he carries it on his shoulder like a badge of honour, you know, he's experienced everything. He's just trying to settle down with his family. <laughs> The key thing about Prom as a driver is he's not agile, he's not a ninja, he's not a trained warrior, he's literally driven by his, his furious revenge. And that comes across, I think, in his, in his look, in his stance, uh, in his style, his movement of animation. I wanted to ground Prom as a real character. So we steered clear from the really sort of theatrical fighting movements, his run. For example, his run animations, we wanted it to be very lumbering and off-centre rather than, you know, like a sprinter or an athlete. He's not an athletic type. He is very big and brutish. It's very important that uh, he moves off-centre, he stumbles. You know, all of his energy comes from his pure rage. So you don't get the sort of uh, ninja game stuff or God of War controlled moves. He very much is a, a frantic guy driven by his rage. So basically, Krom was uh, born out of the same principles as the rest of the game in the style. We need a very mature, dark, gritty title. I think what's unique about Krom compared to other games is um, we've given him an illustrative style again, so he fits within that world. Blood Forge has got a very distinct art style. If you see it, it's kind of got a bit of that 300, the graphic novel feel to it. In fact, the graphic novel is something that we were really striving for with the look of the art. For us, uh, a strong silhouette is very key to Blood Forge, specifically the, uh, the player character. So what we've tried to do, we've tried to look at an art style that embraces how that looks. Um, so we've, we've got, we went away and we looked at some, um, some lots of like film noir, lots of art which kind of embraces the darker worlds, it's like um, Caravaggio, Gustave Doré. The styles are pretty well, we get a really solid concept art. It's, it's all anything that's really, you know, just blunt and ancient looking, very sharp, very, you know, there's nothing elegant about the designs. And a lot of the characters that you meet, the gods in the game, are all real Celtic gods and we've also tried to make the environments and the world based around that idea of what it may have been like living in these periods. The sound in any game, especially in Blood Forge, helped to tie the character to the actual world itself. It, it gives the character like a weight and a physicality that otherwise they wouldn't have. So the audio effects obviously drive a lot of the brutality, uh, so we go out of our way to bring the combat close to camera. When you see Krom driving his sword into the, the, into the chest of an enemy, it all looks very good, but the sound you really almost feel that you're driving the sword in. He seems where Krom grabs an enemy in, enemy in close. He's bashed him in the skull of his heel. You know, the audience got to get those crunches, get those blood splats. You need that real satisfying feedback. You know, he's just dealing this damage up. So, as you would expect, a big part of our game is blood. We like chopping people up, 
Uh, and you can cut people's heads off, and cut their limbs off, and slice them in half, and lots and lots of blood and gore in this game. The key thing about blood is you are collecting it all the time. It is the currency of the game. You have their own rage, there's their own fury. We have the concept of a uh, berserk mode, which then elevates itself into a rage kill. And these are escalations in Kron's own brutality and his own moveset. All of this is fueled by blood. So it's an escalation of blood. Blood's poor everybody, we love it.